This is Dan Grossman at airships.net inside the replica Hindenburg control car from the 1975 Robert Wise movie The Hindenburg. This is the bridge of the airship. That is the engine telegraph where the officers would send instructions to the engine cars about uh, engine speed. Instrument for measuring drift. That's the airship's helm which controlled the rudder, uh, where the steersman uh, would direct the ship right or left. That's the ballast board, which controlled the release of water ballast from various positions in the ship, from bow to stern. This is the elevator wheel and elevator board the elevator was considered the most challenging position and only the most senior and experienced airshipmen were assigned to this post. The elevator controlled the ship's pitch, nose up or nose down, and the ele elevator man's job was to keep the ship in trim as best he could. This is the gas board. This controlled the valves that would allow the release of hydrogen from gas cells. As you see, gas cells one at the tail to 16 at the bow. Gas could be released from individual cells using toggles, or the ship could be valved at the wheel, as they said, and that released hydrogen from the length of the ship from bow to stern evenly. This is a replica of the gas cell fullness indicators to show how full of gas the cells were at a particular time. Behind the bridge is the navigation room where the ship's officers charted the ship's course across the Atlantic and also kept track of weather reports which were entered onto a chart. Weather was received by radio from ships and shore stations. There's a telephone switchboard with connections to all parts of the ship. And finally at the rear was a lounge where officers could take a moment of relaxation off uh, duty or gather for a conference to discuss some matter about the ship's operation. And that's the ladder that led up into the ship's hull. This is where 12 men were located on May 6, 1937, when the ship crashed here at Lakehurst, New Jersey, and those 12 men had only a few seconds to escape this control car. So while this is a remarkably instructive and informative place, it's also a fairly solemn place to be.